Hello, I am back with part two of this ballerina doll sewing tutorial series. This is the newest pattern in my shop, the Clara Ballerina doll, which you can purchase. I will link to that in the description and in the first comment. And this is the second video. I'm not doing a full video walkthrough of this project, but I am doing shorter videos of just the elements that are probably new to most people. So if you didn't catch it already, I already did one video for the embroidered faces. And now I'm going to teach you how to attach the movable button jointed arms. Her arms can move in all directions, which is necessary for a ballet dancer, of course. And so this is sort of like a button tufting technique. And it's very easy. I think you'll be surprised. So normally when you sew dolls, you might, you might see that they either have thrown on arms, which means the arms are part of the pattern, kind of like in the Phoebe rag dolls. Or you sew the arms and legs in when you sew the body together. But since the body of this doll is pretty small, the limbs are attached afterwards. So the legs are just sewn into the bottom seam. And the arms are attached after the body and doll is already made and stuffed and closed up. So I've already made her I'm making a purple doll now with this cute cotton candy hair. This will be the next video is the yarn hair. I think that also will be much easier than you're thinking. And I already made her little legs with point shoes and I already made her arms and closed them at the top. So you need two buttons with two holes. I like these little heart buttons. They come in all colors. I have a little package of them right here. On her, I used brown wooden buttons. She has little heart buttons too. So cute. And then you need the longest needle that you have. I have this doll needle and then you need some sturdy thread. It's okay if you don't have heavy duty thread. I'm using this heavy duty stuff, but if you don't have it, that's fine. You can just use regular thread and you might just have to go back and forth a few more times. So you're going to cut a pretty long length of your thread. Ah, it's coming off the spool. And instead of threading it right onto the needle, you're going to thread it through each hole of one of your buttons. So from the front. So I'm going to go into one button, take the other end of my thread, go into the other hole. So both ends of my thread are through a hole in the button. And then I'm going to even out the ends. Okay, then I will take my needle and thread both ends through it. Like so. Okay, leave a length for a tail. Then I'm going to go through one of my arms and then into the shoulder of my doll, out the other shoulder, into the other arm, like so. So my, I have my button here and I'm putting it, my needle through all pieces. So it looks like this. My arms are still pretty loose, as you can see. So now I need to attach my other button to the other arm. So I'm going to go in one hole, out the other. Okay, so now I have, this is what it looks like in sequence. I'm going to put my button flush against the arm. Take some finagling to get her there. Make sure she's right side up. And then I'm going to go back through all layers. It's okay for everything to be loose right now. So I'm going into my arm, back into my shoulder, out the other shoulder, back through one hole of my button. Like this. Okay, pull it all through. At this point, you'll be able to pull everything taut. So everything is tight to the body. You don't want to pull it so tight that it's like tufted and that her body is distorted, but you should be able to get them pretty, pretty firmly in place and see how they move around. So if you're using lightweight thread, like regular sewing thread, you'll want to go back and forth a few more times, but with this heavy duty thread, that's unnecessary. So 
After you've gone through as many times as you need, go back through this button all the way through the shoulders and exit here behind the arm so that you can hide your knot back there. So now I'll simply make a knot. Make another knot. See how my, my knot is hiding behind the arm? Now I can just sort of go through and exit anywhere so that I can cut my thread close. So there's my doll's arms. Okay, the next step is going to be her hair. So stay tuned. I'm gonna put all these videos in a playlist. I'm actually moving next week, so I am really trying to get these videos made and published within the week. I'm hoping to add the tutu video as well. My method for the tutu is unique. I worked hard on it, and I think it's non-fussy and very easy. So look for those, and I'll put these in a playlist, and you can go purchase this pattern and get started on your ballerina dolls from my shop. I'll see you all soon. Bye.